Hi everyone. So I have a cooking spray in a can here and I have a home oil mister. That's what we're comparing today to talk about making your own homemade healthy cooking spray so you can save money and how to prevent clogs. Welcome everyone to Ask Wardy. I'm so glad you're here. This is the weekly show where I answer your questions about traditional cooking. Today's question comes from John. He said, is there anything you can use other than those awful cooking sprays? And the transcript is ready for you. AskWardy.tv, look for episode 121, because that's today's episode, and then you can follow along, read, and see all the links that we're sharing today. Okay, so here is John's question. He asked this question when he saw the video recipe for our lemon poppy seed bundt cake, right here. So we've got a video recipe really, really quick. Um, and so follow a link to watch that video if you'd like to. And we use a cooking spray in that recipe to grease the pan. And he said, is there anything you can use other than that awful cooking spray? And then um, we replied that it's actually a healthy avocado um, oil cooking spray because it's possible to get healthy ones. And he didn't know that and he wanted to know where he could buy it. So I'm gonna take it one step further because even if you can buy healthy ones, you can do even better in terms of saving money and getting healthier by making your own in a homemade oil mister. So that's the topic today. Let's start with where you can buy it because that was John's first question. So um, this is one that came from Boise Co-op. You can also find it on Amazon. You can follow the link in the post to see them on Amazon. There's also some at Costco that are this brand, Chosen Foods. This is the one in the in the jar, but they do have them in the can. And I actually used the canned ones for quite a while, but I was going through them like a month at a time, and they're like, I don't know, five, six dollars, depending on where you buy it, and that can really add up. So then I said, um, well, I can do better than that. Why don't I revisit this idea of making my own? And so I looked around on Amazon, and that's where I found this oil mister from The Fine Life. Now, I've had an oil mister in the past that clogged up, and then I went to cans, but this one doesn't clog, and I'll tell you how to um, take care of it so you can prevent clogging too. But that's the idea, John. You can buy them if you'd like, and they contain, the good ones contain only the cooking oil. So this one only contains coconut oil. The one from Costco contains only avocado oil. So um, if you wanna buy it, that's great. It'll cost you more money, but you can find them that are fairly healthy because they contain only the cooking oil. Whereas others like Pam, which John, you mentioned in your question, um, has all kinds of chemicals and propellants and things that you just don't wanna eat. So that's where you can buy it. Now let's take it one step further and let's do the homemade oil mister. So this one's from The Fine Life. I've got a link for it for you at the show notes, askwardy.tv, or Peggy's pasting it in Facebook in the chat. And it's very simple to use, very simple to fill it. On the side, there's a max fill line, and so you fill it with your healthy preferred cooking oil. So for me, I'm gonna use organic extra virgin olive oil, I'm gonna use avocado oil. It has multiple pieces, but this is the, you know, like the spray part. You're gonna put that in after you fill with your oil, and then here's the pump. And this is how you pressurize the chamber. And I do it until it's pretty hard to do. You gotta push, pump air in there and that pressurizes it so it'll come out in a nice mist. Okay, so got it pretty good there. And I'm gonna show you how well it works because here we go. Isn't that amazing? I didn't do the whole thing, but it's a nice even mist of oil. So you use far less oil when you use a sprayer and um, you can make it as healthy as possible and easy as possible by doing it in your own homemade mister. Isn't that so cool? So I wanna talk about a few points here. Um, one is that yes, even though you can buy healthy ones, you can go even healthier because you could, I haven't seen a lot that, that you can purchase that have like organic oil for instance. So you can go even healthier by putting organic oils in your own a mister. Now let's talk about the price. So this mister on Amazon is about $26, okay? And I'm just gonna do rough estimates here because that's all we need to illustrate the point that you're going to save money. This is about $26. Everybody following me? I'm gonna assume that we're getting thumbs up in the comments. Okay, good, so it's about $26. Cans are like five to $6, so let's just call it five. So in about five months, you've, you, you've, assuming that you use one a month, which is what I did. 
in our house. So in about five months, you've bought enough of these cans to pay for this sprayer, this homemade oil mister. Um, and let's just tack on another month for the cost of the oil, but that's probably um, more than you'd spend actually because you go through oil very slowly in these. So let's just say six months. Within six months, you've paid for your oil mister, and from then on out, all you're doing is paying for cooking oil, which you already have in your kitchen and you use so little that it's a negligible expense. So in the course of a year, you can save five times 12 um, dollars here, you know, just nearly a hundred dollars over buying cans by just investing in an oil mister. It's pretty clear that not only can you use healthier oils, but you can save money by having an oil mister. And this is the one I like. Um, I've been using it for several months. And now let's talk about clogging. <laughs> because um, in the past I had an oil mister that clogged and it was basically useless within a couple months. Um, and I've heard from lots of you because I've been sharing about this on social media, you saying, well, what about, what about clogging? Well, guess what? This one doesn't have a clogging problem. Now, upkeep is important. Just like with anything you buy, you cannot expect it to run forever. You buy a car, you have to maintain it. You have a kitchen appliance, even a simple one like this, you maintain it. So it's very simple and it just requires when it's empty to wash it thoroughly with soap and water and make sure to get a brush and clean clean this sprayer all out very well, dry it, fill it again, and you should have no issues with clogging, just with simple cleaning steps. Let me know in the comments if you use an oil mister and if you have any tips for using it, care of it, cleaning of it. If you use a different brand than the one I have, the Fine Life, just go ahead and share yours in the comments. So John, there you have it. You don't have to use the nasty Pam sprays. You don't have to use the awful cooking oil sprays that are out there. You can either buy a good one in a can or do your own. And I have a feeling, John, from what I know of you, that you're gonna be doing your own. <laughs> All right, so today's episode was short and sweet. Thanks for the question, John. You get a free gift from us for submitting your question. And if anyone else wants to add a question to the queue, just visit askwardy.tv or send me an email and say, I've got a question for Ask Wardy. It's very simple, we'll add it to the queue and you will get a gift, gift too. We do traditional cooking at Traditional Cooking School by Ganalfglin. So I wanna invite you, if you're interested in traditional cooking or wanna learn more, to take advantage of our free video series. Go to tradcookschool.com slash free vids, F-R-E-E-V-I-D-S. And I will um, hook you up with a free video series where I just share my favorite and fundamental techniques of traditional cooking that show you the ins and outs and how you can literally put a more nourishing meal on the table tonight with some simple techniques of traditional cooking. They don't take more time, they just make your food more nutritious. So I invite you to take advantage of that, tradcookschool.com slash free vids. Reminder that the transcript is waiting for you and all the links at askwardy.tv and I'll see you back here, same time, same place for another episode of Ask Wardy next week. God bless you, bye-bye. <laughs>